exact. <laughs> Today's workout was just absolutely brutal. Like, I don't know what it is, but whenever I arrive to leg day at Burn Boot Camp, I'm always just like, oh, you know, just working out some legs, like no big deal. Um, it's it's a big deal. I, I guess it's because like your legs or what are they, like the biggest muscles in your body, it just takes it out of you. Like even if you're not doing plyometrics with it, which today we were, so like there was some cardio involved, your heart is like pounding in your chest and Oh my goodness, I'm glad I did it, but it did not feel <laughs> great in the moment. But today I am really just, I'm gonna be recording the podcast with Gaby, so I have to uh, get ready for that. And then I'm gonna have a huge day of preparing for an event tomorrow. I could talk about it more um, in a bit, but I have just so much prep to do. Before I do anything though, you guys know the most important part of my day is taking my AG1, which I do every morning after my workout. It's one of those things that has become so mindless for me now. Like I don't even think twice about it. And I'm so grateful I get to partner with them on this video. I actually am getting the inside scoop. They just released three new research studies, which totally confirm and back up what I have been feeling for the past year that I've been drinking AG1 and why I tell everyone that they need to start drinking AG1. The results just speak for themselves. Like since I started taking it, it. My biggest thing is energy. In one of the research studies, 97% of the participants said that they felt more energy after taking AG1 for just 30 days. And I think it was 80% of the participants that felt less gas and bloating after taking it for 30 days. After 90 days, an overwhelming majority felt fewer cravings, digestion improved. And you guys know the drill. I just mix this in eight ounces of water. Just one scoop contains over 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced ingredients. And these are things you were just simply not getting in your daily diet. Not to mention, I have definitely been indulging a little bit more than usual lately, <laughs> if I'm being honest, but it feels good to know that right when I start my day, I personally drink this pretty fast just as I'm getting ready in the morning and it just gives me everything I need for the rest of the day. I mean, that's not to say that like you shouldn't continue eating your fruits and vegetables and all of that, but this just helps guarantee I know I'm getting everything I need and it's a foundational nutrition supplement. So it is helping, like I said, energy to your gut health, skin, uh, the appearance of aging. I mean, all of it. And I'm pretty sure since it was created so many years ago, they've reformulated it over 50 times. Like they've truly made it as good as it can be. And there is a reason why I feel like so many people are obsessed with this stuff. You guys know my dad is one of them. Um, and it just goes to show it's also for all ages. Like for him, it really helps, especially he has a very like labor intensive job where he struggled over the years. His big thing was energy. Um, but I mean, obviously I'm a whole lot younger than my dad and it helps me. And my big goal is I just want to like age as subtly as possible, like both physically and just like the way I feel. I think I've said it before, like my goal is to feel like I'm 10 for the rest of my life. I mean, I know it's a little ambitious, but I just want to feel good. Oh, and I was talking to Gaby cause she said she wants to start drinking it again. I guess she had had it a few years ago. Um, and she was asking about what the taste is like cause I had told her they reformulated it so many times. It tastes good. Like this is a taste I crave, just like a fruity tropical drink. Like this is literally like a treat for me every day. So if you guys want to give it a try, I'm going to have a link below and then also you can scan a QR code on the screen. And when you subscribe, you'll get five free travel packs, perfect for when you're on the go and traveling. You'll get a free shaker bottle, the canister. This is what I transfer the AG1 into each and every month. Makes it super easy. Vitamin D3 and K2 drops, which I take every single morning and $20 off. So I'll have that link below. Let me know if you try it out and how you feel after the first month. I just finished filming the podcast with Gaby and now I am putting the finishing touches on my presentation. I talked about it a couple vlogs ago. I'm gonna be speaking tomorrow at the downtown Cincinnati library. They're doing this big grand reopening. That was redundant. This grand opening where they have like a bunch of, I was just looking at the list, a bunch of different just fun things, fun events. 
and one of them, the one from noon to one, involves me where I'm going to be talking all about how to turn social media into a full-time job. It was one of my old news contacts who reached out and asked if I wanted to do this. And I am, uh, like sometimes when you have too much time to do something, it backfires. I just redid the whole entire presentation because I'm using a PowerPoint, but not in a boring way. That was always one of the biggest things in news. Like putting a whole bunch of text on a screen, that's, that's not the way to go. It's just very, it's mostly pictures and then bullet point vibes, like nothing crazy on the screen. But I, I need like some sort of guidance because I feel like just speaking for an hour with like nothing is kind of intimidating. Also, I feel like I'm I'm out of the game. Like I haven't done a public speaking event at all in what? Two over two years. Oh my gosh, over two years. Cause in the news industry, I emceed a lot of events, but never like where I'm putting together something from scratch and I am like delivering a product. I also don't know who I'm delivering the information to. Like I'm so confused about everything really. And sometimes you just gotta go with the flow. Just gotta go with the flow. <laughs> Guys, I just tried to do like a little practice run through, an abbreviated practice run through. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to try to like incorporate more videos maybe. I'm losing my voice as I'm speaking. Like I know, <laughs> speaking of losing his voice, what the heck? I know it doesn't seem like a lot, like, oh, just speaking, whatever. It's so different when you're speaking to someone for an hour and you just get that little reprieve as opposed to like when you're just like blah, 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 blah. Like, so that is, I'm really glad I did that little practice. The other, <laughs> what is up with you? <laughs> the other question of the hour, what the heck do I wear? Because a part of me feels like something very professional, very newsy, right? Even though, I mean, it's weird. It's like an old news contact who is hiring me to do this. So I'm, I'm in that news mindset, but this has nothing to do with the news. I am, I'm not a news reporter anymore, but regardless, I certainly have quite a bit. Oh, I love how I say quite a bit. I have my sweatshirts here. Okay, let's watch more sweatshirts. Oh my gosh. But I do have um, some of my news dresses. However, I don't think any of these are going to fit me anymore. Like I, they're just so tight fitting. Like I really, I can try to see if we can make something work, but I just am not thinking that these are going to fit me. Oh my gosh. I just tried to slip into a couple. I have never been so humbled in my life. It wasn't even close. I think we need to consult some of my flowy dresses. But like, is this too dressy? I don't know, let us try it on. Honestly, this is the first thing I tried on. I was not expecting to like it, but I kind of do. It's this dress from Abercrombie. And then I didn't love it, it's strapless. I just feel, I don't know what it is. I feel so exposed with like a strap, like you just cannot wear strapless to the library, okay? You just can't. So I put this little, this little cardigan thing over it and this actually might be a look. I feel comfortable in it. I feel confident, I feel happy. I did tell you guys, I think in the last vlog, I don't think these people know I am pregnant who are hiring me to do this. So like I feel just a little self-conscious. I don't know, like like I'm just this pregnant lady waddling in, like, like who wants to listen to a pregnant lady? I don't know, I don't know. So like part of me is like, oh gosh, hide the bump. There is no hiding this bump. Like at this stage in my pregnancy, like it's it's there. Like I, there's no longer like, oh, is she pregnant? Is she not? She's pregnant. I just showed you the straight view. I mean, as I'm walking around, it's pretty, it's pretty evident like what's going on down there. So yeah, this is another option. Totally different vibe. I'm not feeling the vibe, especially like this is really like, hey, she is probably gonna pop tomorrow. And I'll be, I wouldn't wear it strapless just because one second. Okay, with the cardigan, I like it so much more. I'm trying to like, I have to like step over him. Okay, Asher, we're both gonna die. It's a different vibe, but I like it. Darn it, I wish I could, ah, I wish this was like real time. I could ask you guys, what the heck do I do? Oh my gosh. I was not expecting to like this. Guys, I have never been more proud of my son in my entire life. He was just playing with his toy by himself and he accidentally tossed it up onto the bed. I watched the whole thing happen. I was far away. He didn't know I was watching and he didn't go on the bed. He just sat there like looking at it politely because he knows he's not allowed on. You are so polite, youngster. Of course you can have your toy. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Today I'm going to be wearing foundation for the first time in like months after I apply my sunscreen. But I seriously have not worn foundation in the longest time. I've talked about it on here before. 
I feel like I've cracked the code to life, that foundation. I mean, don't get me wrong. If, if it's your wedding, if you're going to a wedding, if it's a fun event, like, yes, I think that is great. But on the day to day, and even like when you want to look good on a date night, I just don't see the point in having such full coverage. And by the way, this is coming from someone I used to like scoff at people when they were like, I want light coverage. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, I want it, you know, totally like just cover everything. But that's the thing, like, cause you guys know I'm obsessed with typology. It's like tinted serums. The tinted serums give you everything you need. And then let's say like you have a pimple or something crazy, like then you can go in with concealer, but it just makes it so much more natural. And oh my gosh, as I'm applying this, I hate it. I hate it so much. The reason I'm doing it is because you guys know I'm a bulk buyer. I have like two more of these I need to get through. And I love, this stuff is great. It's a Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. I've used this for years. When it comes to foundations, I think this is one of the best, but I just haven't been as much of a fan of foundation recently. And this one I don't think is really that crazy. Like I know there are some, I think it was like the, what was it? The Estee Lauder Double Wear something like that that was huge in the reporter industry for people who wanted like really full coverage i had never tried it just because i've heard from other people like some people love it some people are like it feels like i am literally like pasting things on my face and it's just very noticeable figured today would be a good day to experiment today is the day of the speaking event it is currently 9 20 i think i'm gonna get out of here at like i don't know they said i have to be there at 11 30 for a 12 o'clock thing and knowing me, I think I'm gonna wanna arrive like around 11, which which is a little psycho. I just, I'm one of those people like, <sighs> running late will actually cause me to have a mental breakdown. So why not run early? Like it's just, it's one of those things I've discovered about myself, I know about myself and it is what it is. So I, I just feel more comfortable when I'm early, when I'm on time. Not to mention, you guys know, I love libraries. Like I'm obsessed with libraries. So I also just wanna go selfishly to look at it because the reason they're doing this, so the library had already been there. It's a grand reopening. How many dollars did they put into it? Oh my gosh, okay, yeah, a $43 million facelift. What the heck? So I'm really excited just to see the library in general. I asked Zach which dress I should go with and he said floral. So that is what we are doing. Meanwhile, I'm trying to like bolt my feet to the floor because everything in me is telling me to get to the library right now. If I leave right now, I'll be two hours early. So I'm trying to not be that early. You are so sweet. You are so sweet. Oh my gosh, guys, this is like the old days when I used to film myself one second I, I don't know why i try to talk and do lipstick at the same time when i used to film myself getting ready before live shots which is funny i would be way more comfortable even though i haven't reported in over two years at this point if you were to give me a microphone and tell me to report on the grand opening of the cincinnati library which by the way i don't know a lot about i'd feel way more comfortable doing that than a one-hour presentation that's more about myself like i'd rather just talk about not myself it's not myself it's but obviously like my personal experience the good thing with reporting is you're always it's always about other people but i would say i arrived at an acceptable time i am 50 minutes early that's 50 not 15. i'm waiting in my car a bit because sometimes it's actually a bad thing to be too early it's almost rude because people don't know what to do with you so i've learned that in life but honestly listen like if you are someone and everyone has anxiety, like I feel like everyone, even if, you know, some people's like, for example, I feel like Zach's is like so minuscule that it's not even really there, but everyone deals with anxiety to some degree and you just find what works for you. Like for me, my biggest thing is just being late. Like nothing can make me <laughs> more not, not okay. Um, I just leave early places. So yeah, obviously it's different for everyone, but I'm about to head in there and check out this library. I'm actually really excited to see what's in it. Update, I'm walking in now, but I'm about to pee my pants. Like my bladder has been reduced to nothing. I just got home and it went really well. It was really nice. I felt like, it was TV news reporting meets what I do now, except my voice is just not used to this. Like, I can't explain it, but it, it just felt like my voice at certain points was just going to just shut off, like my voice box. And because I was thinking about this, do you guys know Tony Robbins? He's like a motivational speaker. He has a very distinct, like raspy voice. I'm pretty sure he said that's because of all of the speaking he has to do. Like his voice is just shot. 
and I was just very very excited at the end I did like a questions and answers segment that's all I needed like I just need like a little like reprieve like for someone to ask a 20 second question for my voice to recover and that was that made it so much better my friend Annie also came she's a reporter at local 12 so that was nice having a familiar face in the audience I also met some of you guys which is so sweet shout out to Angela and a couple of others it was so nice meeting you guys um and yeah all in all that was really nice I have to say like heels they're just not worth it my my feet right now are screaming out in pain and by the way I'm wearing wedges like I don't know how people ladies women walk around in like these big stilettos I was just watching owning Manhattan on Netflix how how like you just must be so strong and brave because I can not also can I just say Netflix has been gracing us lately Owning Manhattan such a good show and I'm not even into those real estate shows I find them a lot of times just boring fake drama Owning Manhattan though it's like for, there is some fake drama involved but it's so much like just truly showing you like the behind the scenes of real estate which I love the other one I was addicted I'm so sad it's over it was the Dallas Cowboys cheerleading show I sat there and one day I mean I watched it in two days I like even Zach was like who knew this is what like because I'm always really bad at watching TV I just don't like it and he's like who knew this is all <laughs> this is all you needed just some Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders it just was so interesting seeing the behind the scenes what it takes I I don't know much about NFL cheerleaders or at least I didn't I and I just never I've gone to NFL games I never like really look at them I've I literally thought they were just on the sidelines like go team like I had no idea they are the most talented humans ever, like so talented, like doing legit dances, split jumps or jump splits. Like it was crazy. And then the third one I'm currently watching, I'm in love with, it's called Receiver. And it's just following along. I think it's like four receivers in the NFL. It is so interesting. So I am in my TV watching little era. Meanwhile, I am about to start this book that I got from the library. It's called The Guest by B.A. Paris. I talked about this on my Instagram stories. I was not a fan of The Next Mrs. Parrish. This is the sequel to The Last Mrs. Parrish, which I loved, one of my favorite books ever. It just felt like there was no plot. Like, I felt like they were really forcing it, but there it, there was not an interesting storyline there. So, did not like that. And then the next book in my little stack of books that I really should uh, read more, The Baby Name Wizard, because I was just talking to a couple of friends. I am probably going to have given birth to this baby, and we are gonna be holding him, and we are still not gonna have a name at this rate. But I am doing a strategy I have a couple of names in my mind I like. I've planted the seed a little bit. My strategy, I'm not talking to Zach about it. I'm actually just silent because I feel like with the name Finn, that was the one that I really wanted. You guys know I love, but Zach said no to, which I totally get. Like I said no to many of his names too. Um, I feel like we talked about it too much. So I'm like, let's just not talk about this until I give birth. And then after Zach sees like what I have gone through to, to birth this child, maybe I'll just be able to name it whatever I want, so we'll see. Zach's parents just stopped by and dropped off this gift for the baby, which I'm not peeking. I'm waiting till Zach comes home to open it up. And meanwhile, I think it's time to try a recipe that I have seriously been wanting to try for, okay, wait, I was about to say like for, for months, I just discovered it like a couple weeks ago, but a couple weeks is a long time when you're pregnant and you're hungry and you're craving sweets and this recipe looks so freaking good. Something I've been specifically craving is soft sweets. Like I don't want like a hard cookie. I don't want, I don't know, like I, I, I want it to be soft, gooey, like that to me is everything. And so I saw it's this recipe on that, um, that chocolate covered Katie.com that I showed you guys a couple weeks ago. It is just, I love her recipes because okay, ready? Look at this. We're going to be making these Levain inspired cookies. I've never had Levain cookies, but I've seen so many people on social media talk about how like these cookies are it. It's like a, I don't know, some kind of cookie shop. I don't think we have any here in Cincinnati, but ready? These are the only ingredients you need. Like that to me is everything. I like, obviously like I have my little supplies, but like I don't want to be going out and searching for like the most crazy exotic ingredients. Sometimes I feel like people are just telling you you need ingredients just to tell you you need ingredients. I don't know, maybe not, but I personally like it to be as simple as possible. And I feel like that is the name of the game with her recipes, not to mention they're vegan. You guys know I can't have um, dairy and eggs. So that's a huge plus for me. And I'm excited to try these. So 
it says in the recipe to chill the dough for at least an hour if you want soft cookies. And I, I have done my fair share of shortcuts in baking and every single time I regret it. So we are putting this in and then this will be like a nice little after dinner treat. Zach just got home from work, snacking on some nan bread and hummus. I am cooking up some dinner and these are just like some uh, quarter potatoes. I cooked my chicken. We have Hungry Root coming next week, which I feel like we desperately need. <laughs> We've been struggling a little bit, but I, uh, I thought I would have Zach do the honors. Is it for you? Oh my gosh, oh, my. Are Jordan. You Wow, yeah, let's just get a, a close-up of Zach's face. This has his stamp of approval. That's nice. I like that. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh are you one. kidding me? Can you even picture him being so small? Hey, puppy. Ashley's getting jealous already. Some <gasps> socks. Your mom has it figured out for you. Some Jordan <laughs> sweats again? No, my gosh. Oh wow, it's all Jordan stuff, my mom. She knows. Oh my gosh, can you imagine? <laughs> this is great. <laughs> oh Milk my belly. goodness, are you kidding me? Mom Mommy's napping, buddy. My mom knocked out of the park, I think. There was drama on the vlog once when I said my mom struggled with gift giving for me, but I guess all of the pain that <laughs> happened over the years, she uh, learned very quickly and is killing it for our nameless. Have a name. Yeah. No, you just expect the world on your birthday. Like you just think like, I don't even know what you think. I don't know where it came from. I hope it's not genetic. <laughs> I'm going to deliver for my son. So <laughs> you're going to get really good gifts. Yeah, we don't, we're not play. we're not like depending on you. It's from Aria. Oh, Aria, <laughs> Aria niece. Your niece or our niece? She's my niece. She's our niece. Oh my goodness. It's Zach's sister's daughter. But nowadays, whenever I notice something about Zach that I'm not too fond of, I kind of like take inventory. Is this genetic or is it like just him? Because if it's just him, it's whatever. But if it's genetic, it's just a little bit worrisome. I'll take my son and let the road then. You'd leave us. We'd leave you. There's no odds. No, I mean, honestly, the court sides with the mom a lot of the time, I have to say. <laughs> I'll cook up something good. Oh my gosh, we literally, we have two squeaky toys for Asher out of, you know, 20 oh, other toys. Yeah. And he of course loves the squeakers the most. You're so cute. most beautiful day we've had some very hot days lately like I just can't get over how hot this summer has been I just don't remember it being this hot I don't know um, I mean but also like another factor could be like Asher like I, I notice him overheating if it's anything above like 85 90 so maybe I'm just like more sensitive to it with him obviously the pregnancy I don't know but today it feels really nice out here we've just been sitting out here reading I I've honestly been trying to take it pretty easy today and I'm so grateful because I just felt the baby kick or waddle or move or just doing his thing. We had an interesting morning. I took Asher to his puppy school. It was just me. For his puppy school, he is almost always the only one there, if not just one other really small puppy which is really nice because we get like private training. But today there were two other dogs who were puppies as well, but like big like Asher. And they were all just kind of going crazy with each other in like a really cute way. Like they were having fun. But there were a couple moments, I think this happened like two or three times where one of the dogs jumped on me, but not only jumped on me, jumped on like paws on my stomach, which just is, I mean, I don't, I, I don't think that's really <laughs> recommended at all when you're pregnant. And it just scares me and I was so scared and you guys know I have what's called an anterior placenta a front facing placenta and my doctor told me that means I probably feel my baby less than others it's hard for me to say because I don't know what the normal is right like I don't know the norm I don't know how much most people feel their babies move but I don't I don't feel a move a ton 
and I hadn't felt him move all day. But finally, just hanging out here, I felt a little a little kick. Or it just feels like a poke. It feels like a weird poke. And yeah, I, I definitely need to like I need to get Asher in training, and I need to do that. Zach's working today; he couldn't go, but I also need to like make sure I am being as careful as possible. I mean, I remember even like this is when I was like seven months pregnant. I didn't even have a belly at all. Asher, who was like 12 pounds at the time, would like sometimes accidentally like walk on my stomach or something when I was on the ground with him. And I'd be like, oh my gosh, like get off the stomach. Like I'm just so protective over my belly right now just because I know that like there is a, a miracle inside that I must protect at all costs. I'm about to water some of my flowers and I wanted to show you these. I showed you like, I don't know, five or six vlogs ago, they were all dead. My roses have come back to life. Asher, what are you eating? Asher, Asher, come on. But I'm going to end off the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I will once again have that link for AG1 below if you guys want to check it out and get some of those freebies. And yeah, we're just gonna have a chill rest of the day, but I will see you guys next time. Bye.